Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna teach you how to fix the common issue when you're recording with your microphone or live streaming and you have an audio interface and a microphone and you have a signal that's only coming out of one ear, either the left or the right channel. So you have audio that's stuck in one side of the output. I'm gonna show you four ways to fix this issue for your live stream, so a live streaming setup way. And if you're doing audio for video podcasts or video editing for your videos like in Premiere Pro, and Reaper. So let's jump into the video and get these fixes for you. First, let's take a quick look at the issue. So I'm gonna demonstrate here with a digital mixer called Wavelink. So on screen here, we have the Wavelink software and I'm gonna demonstrate, I'm gonna switch microphones here and you're gonna see the signal on one side of the channel here. Here's a quick audio example of the issue. So you can hear that's only coming through one speaker, which is the left speaker. So it's only got audio in a mono signal on one side. Now, if you're using this with OBS Studio for recording, this is a really simple fix with one button here. So open up OBS Studio. You're gonna see a screen like this with your mic input. So there's a few ways to access the settings here. You wanna go down to this little gear icon below the mic channel, which is called Advanced Audio Settings. You wanna click that one. That's gonna open up this mixer settings here and you wanna navigate over to this button here where it says mono for that channel that you wanna fix. Just click that button and make sure it's ticked and now your audio will be mono. So it's gonna be centered in the middle. If you wanna test this and make sure it's working, you can go over here to audio monitoring and click this button here and change it to monitor and output. And what that's gonna do is you're gonna hear the live monitor of your audio to check if it's working. So make sure to turn it off if you don't wanna hear your playback. There's a few other ways to access these advanced audio settings in OBS. The second way is these three little dots on the individual audio channel. You can click that one, you're gonna see advanced audio properties. Once again, it's gonna bring you back to this menu. And the third way to access these settings is to go up to the menu bar at the top and click edit. Go down to the bottom here where it says advanced audio properties. That's gonna open up that same window. So this next fix is if you are using the Wavelink software, which a lot of people are using, and some people are using it with the Stream Deck Plus, which I am using here as well. And I have an audio interface, I have the Audient interface, but this is a two channel interface, and it causes that issue where it has the left signal because it's using that left channel there for the audio input with the XLR. So the way to fix this if you are in the same situation is unfortunately with the Wavelink software, there is no way to route it in the software to fix that, to make it to mono. So if you wanted to create that left channel into the center within Wavelink, you can't do it within the software. So you have to use another program to do that. So the way to do this is use a program like VoiceMeter or VoiceMod. So I've got VoiceMod here. And the way that you wanna set it up here is you wanna go down to your settings and you can see audio settings here. And you can see for the input mic section, I have it as the line, which is the Audient ID4. So that's my audio interface as the line input there. Under the audio output section here in the program, I have it set to Wavelink system, which is the Elgato virtual cable there that we're gonna use here. Back in the Wavelink software, you wanna go up to the channel where your microphone is. For me, it's this one here, it's the line input. You can see it's the Audient ID4, which will having that issue where it's the left channel there. So now we have the option here as another microphone and that's the voice mod microphone. So we can now select that one and that's gonna switch us to this new channel for our voice mod channel here. Now, routing it this way still allows me to have my input and output in the window settings still set to my audio interface, so I can keep using the low latency when I'm doing recordings or music. Now, if we take a look and listen to what we're hearing in the mixer here, you can see the green bars are lighting up on both the left and the right channel here. If we go back to my mic here, we're using the microphone set to the voice mod virtual microphone. And you can see both my monitor mix and my stream mix are outputting both in the left and right channel in stereo. So that means I can send that to OBS or if I wanted to do a recording, it's all gonna be in the center. This next fix is if you've already done the recording and it's in the left channel and you're like, how do I fix that? I need to post this on YouTube or my podcast and it's in the left channel. So a couple of ways to fix this. So the first one is gonna be using a DAW, digital audio workstation called Reaper. So here is the program Reaper, it's open. So I'm gonna drag a recorded video file where it's in the left channel, so the left side of the speaker, and I'm just gonna drag it to the timeline. Now this is a pretty simple fix. So all you need to do is now you've dragged your video track here. You can see it's only in that one side. If we play it back, you can see one bar is in one channel on the green bar there, and you can hear only in one side. So to fix this within Reaper, you wanna select the track that has the video and audio file within Reaper. 
make sure that's selected, go to actions at the top of the toolbar and then go show action list. This will pop up and there's a search filter at the top here. As you can see, just type in mono. Once you type in mono in the filter, you're going to see a list of different actions here. And the one we want to check is this one where it says set channel mode to mono down mix. So if we click that one and then we click run here, you're going to see it moved it to the center. And now when we play it back, this is a test recording of me. And as you can see, and here you can see one bar is in all right, so now our audio is fixed. And one thing you might not know as well about Reaper is if you go up to view here, up the top and click video, you can see the video that you're actually using. You can actually edit the video within Reaper. So the next fix is in Premiere Pro. So same problem if you've recorded a video and it's in one channel on the left or right side, open up Premiere Pro, so a blank project just like this and drag in your media. And if we take a look at this file here, it's, we're gonna see if we expand it, we've got the same problem. You can see it's all on that one side, which is the left side. So to fix that within Premiere Pro, select the clip that we want to change, right click the audio and video clip. And in this menu, you want to go up to audio channels. So this is where we're going to fix it. Under audio channels here, you can see we've got a left and a right here for the clip and they're alternated. So we want to just click one of them here. Now, if we click both on the left, now we're going to have that one centered to the left side here. You can see down the bottom, it says preview media source channel left. If we want it to the right, we could click right there and we just have to swap them over here. And there's a playback option as well. So either is fine. Just make sure you put it to one side and then match this up with the bottom one. So left channel and left here, then click OK. And you can see now it's duplicated them both to both sides there. And when we play it back, this is a test recording of me. That's four ways you can fix that issue of the audio being in one side of the channel. Obviously for a live setup, if you want to fix it for being live or if you've done a recording and you want to fix it up in post and you can fix it within Reaper or Premiere Pro or whatever other program you use, it'll be the same principles. I hope this video was helpful. It's a very common issue that comes up a lot for a lot of people and they get stuck on this issue. So hopefully this solved your problem here today. And if you need any further help or assistance with audio and video productions with your remote setups, any routing or anything like that, you can navigate to the link below and it'll take you to this page here where you can jump on a call. We can discuss any production upgrades, equipment, or troubleshoot any problems for you there. Just navigate to the link here, follow the prompts, and we'll jump on a call and be able to help you out. So thank you for watching today and good luck in your productions and we'll see you all in the next video.